video starts, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. This is the reason why. Before the video starts, please drop a like on the video. This took me a lot of effort um, and I'm just super proud of it. And I'd appreciate the support on this video. So thank you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Holy sh dude. Greetings. I feel like I've been off the internet or something for like a week or two. I feel like like the world was revolving around without me or something because I've been like off the face of the planet. Like my skin is at, I'm actually the color of like an albino now. Like I'm literally pitch white. Is like albino, pure white, like yeah. Crocodiles and stuff. So um, I also have like a beard going, which I don't know if it's gonna make tomorrow um, because I have. I really hope tomorrow. it does. Everyone's wishing and hoping that it, la it lasts till tomorrow, but or I mean longer than tomorrow, but I'm not sure if it will because I have a photo shoot and you know. I don't know. This is only 10 days of growth, so. The point of this video. So you see in the title, but let's help her just pretend for the next duration of the video until you actually see what it is, that you don't know what it is, okay? How about that? Let everyone just pretend you don't, you didn't see the title, all right? Or you don't know what's going on. Because, listen, before this video actually gets started, Young LA is having a drop on, do you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Here, do you want me to just look it up? Yeah. Young Lace having a drop on November 1st. This is one of the hoodies that drop. It's extremely detailed. And listen, don't skip this part, okay? If you're on this part, don't skip it. If you haven't skipped it, don't skip. Because listen, okay, we all know it's in the title, all right? The next 10 seconds, know what it is, okay? Remember that it's here. It cost me a, a lot of money. Like, a lot. and Like, a lot, a lot. A lot of money. So I need some help now. I'm in, I'm in financial debt, and the IRS is coming <laughs> to f arrest me right now. That's how much it costs, so... I need some help, so... Literally, every person that's watching this right now, the month of November, Black Friday is happening with Young LA and Gorilla and everything. Literally, for Gorilla Mind and Young LA, you are not allowed to use anyone else's code but mine if you're seeing this, and I'm sorry, but it's just too late. You have to use code LEX from now on the whole month of November. I'm, it's here to stay because I, the IRS is going to come arrest me if you don't, okay? I need help. I just really want you guys, genuinely, I just really want you to appreciate the work me and Aaron have done to this gym right now. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours every, and hours. I, like, I literally lost muscle mass. Like I, I actually look extremely natural. I'm very pale. I look like shit because my mind has just been slaving away at just getting this done because I, 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 I had the idea and the vision and I needed to get it done. Like there was absolutely no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Like this needed to get done. And the thing is, is when I, when I want something, Aaron can attest to this, when I want something, I literally will do anything in my fucking power to get it done as soon as possible and then if we want something done together we're an unstoppable force yeah we literally are an unstoppable force like it's actually like inevitable that we get what we want no matter what literally so, no matter. we put blood sweat and tears into this literally blood i'm not kidding wait, wait, i've been hurt a lot sweat. of times we, okay, tears. we don't have any tears yet okay i probably did <laughs> maybe okay you know like the homer simpson meme where he's kind of standing like this yeah. and he's all like handsome and looking great in the front and then it shows the back of him and it's like all his fat like tied up in a knot so like it's holding him together so that's like basically our entire house right now and the gym is like the front of homer simpson like this like that's the gym right now but as you can see right there as you can see right there that's like basically the back of homer simpson with like all his fat wrapped around that's that so without further ado uh i'm gonna show you guys the gym and take you through it all right just take a moment to really appreciate this it's like 1 a.m. right or 1.30, right? Yeah, I just want to get this done. It's literally 1.30 for like the 20th day in a row. Starting off with number one is we have the bench, which I'm just going to tell you how much everything costs because I just want to be transparent and I don't really give a shit, you know. Just, this, I think, was around maybe 700 bucks. I'm, I'm just assuming. Don't don't quote me on these prices, but they're pretty accurate. This is a rope adjustable bench, and it is really nice, and it does everything that I need it to do. And um, the thing is with dumbbells is... I got a pair for about every single dumbbell from ranging from 15 pounds to 115, so you can only imagine the price. I think this, literally, I had no idea. You should really, if you're watching this, appreciate how many dumbbells your gym has because literally all these dumbbells right here cost me, I think, around six to $7,000. Just the dumbbells. Just the dumbbells. So I got from 15, I think I'm missing like the, the 90s or something because they didn't have, that's like the one weight they didn't have in stock or something. But anyway, we got 15, all the way up to 115. And the rack, the dumbbell rack, I think was, honestly, I don't remember. It's anywhere from like one to $2,000. And here we have power block dumbbells. So the, the Pro Series. So what they do, they have a really cool feature where you can actually, I think these are around maybe 500 bucks, 700 bucks. So it says right here, 10, 15, 20, uh, all the way up. 
So right here it's on 50, so that's just the whole entire dumbbell. And you can switch it into, say, you know, you want 25 pounds, it says orange. So you put this slidey thing in the orange, and you can put it in there, and boom, it pops out, and now you have 25 pounds. You can do whatever you want with that, curl it or whatever. You put it back in there, and you can basically select whatever weight you want. And I think this is around 500 bucks. It also comes with this stand if you want it, but it costs more money, and I don't really care for this stand. The, the reason I got them is because up to 50 pounds, let's say I'm working out, let's say like Gabe comes over, right, or, or Max or something, and he wants to use the 40s, but I want to use the 40s. Now, whatever dumbbell is being used, I also have an alternative dumbbell for, you know, whatever is being used all the way up to 50 pounds, so, which is cool. <sighs> this thing, bro, I, I mean, not the price. I'm not, I'm not saying that because of the price. I'm saying because this was- A menace. This was a menace to put together. This was the worst thing to put together out of everything in this gym. I don't know what it was. Um, just the instructions were bad, just everything. It just, it just sucked literal cock. It sucked cock to put together. Anyway. I think this cost me like, honestly, I have no idea. It was anywhere from one to 2,000, maybe pushing three. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. It was somewhere around there. This right here, this cable, I think this cost me like 4,500. This big one? 3,500 to 4,500. So, you know, you can get a guess. You can get an estimate on, you know, how much this would cost compared to that. Because I don't even remember how much this is. But it's a Titan Fitness lap pull down. So we have Rogan Titan Fitness equipment in here but it works really well. And um, I just feel like the lat pull down is generally just a staple in the gym because it's just one of like, I just, it's, it's always been one of my favorite uh, back exercises. Also what you can do with this machine yeah. is you can actually take uh, a cable row, whatever your choice and attach it down here. And you can actually sit on the ground and pull that weight towards you for a seated cable row, which I think is kind of cool and convenient. But yeah, the lat pull down overall, just one of my favorite exercises and I really wanted a lat pull down. So this was approximately 10.7 times easier to put together than this. And you'd look <laughs> at this at first glance and be like, well, you know, there's no way, but it, it was, I don't know why that was just so goddamn hard to put together. This was pretty easy though. This, we, got, we got this done in actually two hours. Um, so the thing about it is, I really want to get better at, at uh, body weight stuff, and that's not a joke. You know how sometimes like YouTubers or like even me or like people in general, they just go, I want to get better at so-and-so, this is why I got this. Like for example, like I'm like, oh, I want to buy a Berserk book to read before bed. I've only read like two books, and they're really not hard to f read whatsoever at all, so I'm just an L person. But I'm serious about this. I actually do want to get really good at weighted pull-ups and weighted dips. Unfortunately, we were going to have a weighted dip machine right here, but it's still on its way. But it's all right. It'll fit nice in there in the corner, because the dips are my absolute favorite exercise for the chest. Um, and like I said, I want to get better body weight because I feel like it's kind of like a compound movement in a way for your back um, that's like way better than deadlifts for like hypertrophy. So yeah, I also have a dip belt right there as you can see because I'm going to start loading it and doing them because I used to do those when I was a teenager, but I stopped doing them as I got older for some reason and I want to get back into like being better at pull-ups and stuff. It feels like a good, really good grip. Like I feel comfy like holding on to it and stuff. If you buy this machine, all this attachments, actually excluding this, um, but all these attachments come with it, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. and it's all adjustable too. Like, we can put it at the bottom. Yeah, put it at the bottom, put it at the top. And we can do both, you can do, you know, chest flies. I just feel like cables are, cables are an absolute staple for every gym. You just need a set of cables, I felt like. So, that goddamn thing is huge, <laughs> man. Well, actually, sorry, I don't mean to miss out on this. So, we have these 45 pounds of Rogue deep dish plates. These are the sexiest plates I've ever seen in my life, and I, when I saw them, I immediately had to order them. If you're wondering, you know, why are these on top or, you know, what am I thinking? Listen, I don't know why any gym doesn't have their heaviest weights on the top. Who the hell wants to take a 45 pound plate and bend down with it, but you would take the 10 pounds and just stack it on there. It just doesn't really make sense to me. And considering how much weight this thing actually is supposed to be capable of holding, there's literally no issue with this being on top, except for the fact Like we could both sit on top and nothing yeah, would happen. Except for the fact that maybe it could be deemed dangerous. But other than that, I don't give a I want my heavyweights on top so I can just take them and move them away. We have 12 45s. We have four 25s. The other ones that go over there somewhere. We have um, four fives. We have four 10s. And we have four 2.5s. And we have two 35s, which the two 35s are on a machine over there. We have all the plates. And I think the plates cost me probably like 2,500, 3,000. I don't know for all those plates that I ordered. Um, and it wasn't like a specific package, like I kind of ordered them more separately and just, you know, how much I wanted to fit, tailored to what suited me. Oh yeah, the plate tray thing was like 200 bucks or something, um, just holding the plates. So we have this, this Thompson Fat Pad cost me around like 300 bucks and it's a monster utility bench, it may cost like 200 more bucks. 
and we have a combo rack, which I think cost me around 3500 up to like 5000 bucks. I don't really remember. And like I said, don't quote me, I'm just kind of throwing these numbers out of my ass. If you want to look at how much it actually costs, you can just search it up on the Rogan Titan Fitness website. But I'm just kind of throwing them out there just so it doesn't waste your time. I don't know the numbers exactly. But yeah, we have a combo rack. So the thing about a combo rack is you can squat and you can bench in these. So it's basically a hybrid. And you know, you might think that you, I could have gotten a huge rack and all this stuff, put a pull-up bar up there and I could have done kind of the doing the same thing. But I just really like power racks. Like I don't really want a giant rack in my garage. And also sometimes the racks more than less are too tall for like say this garage. Like a lot of the rogue racks are just too tall for the ceiling and they'd hit the ceiling. Um, so I wanted something a little more short. Also, like I said, man, I just think power racks are awesome. We also have this bar. Um, guess how much this bar was? Guess how much this bar was? It's higher than that. I think this bar was 1,250 bucks. And if you're wondering why this bar was so much money, is because, well, oh, sorry, I missed over that running. That. That's an Ohio power bar. That was, I think, around 400, 300 bucks, maybe 250 bucks. But this bar is 1,250 bucks. And the reason for that being is because this is an IVF um, bar. So it's basically the bar that all USAPL competitions use in powerlifting. And as you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I do powerlifting. I'm kind of like a power builder. I do powerlifting and bodybuilding, but I am starting a new uh, training block soon to do powerlifting again. So yeah, I really love my powerlifting. I mean, as you can kind of tell with the gym layout. So yeah, this Alico bar, I just wanted it because it's just kind of like the uh, designer of like bars, I guess, in a way. But also it's like the most quality. It's extremely stiff. You're not gonna bend this bar, no matter how much weight's on it. It's extremely stiff and the knurling's great. And it's what's used in competitions. So, and I, I just like Alico bars. It's really good. Well, it just feels good. It just feels really good, yeah. Back there is a competition standard pad, which Aaron should be using, but she's been using the fat pad. <laughs> but that's a competition uh, pad, which is just means it's like more narrow, not as fat as the fat pad. Um, but yeah, this can turn into a squat, so you can even put the bar up there and you can adjust this, pull these up to your height, or you can move them down and set it down as a bench press. Now, on my favorite machine in this entire gym, this is absolutely by far the cheapest, most affordable, and best machine I bought. Now granted, you have to take that with a a grain of salt because I've only had this thing for about a week now. I mean, everything to go in this. And gym. you've used it like once. I've used it like twice or once, <laughs> but I don't think anything in this gym is going to be this, especially for the price. This does leg extensions and hamstring curls. So right now it's set on the hamstring curl. So if I want to do a hamstring curl, I I would set it up there. There's no weight on it though, so it's not going to work. But yeah. I set it up there, and I, it would hang up here if I put weight on it, and you press down with your hamstrings like this and you push it in to do hamstring curls, or you flip it around and you do leg extensions. It's the best, it's the best seat in the house. And it is the best seat. That's another great thing about it, is it's just so comfy to rest on. That's another great thing about it, between sets, is the comfiest seat in the house, like Aaron said. This thing is really comfy. And the thing is, is I thought it would be an issue because nothing in here is bolted to the ground, but I thought especially for this machine it'd be an issue. So, you guys know my legs are pretty strong, so I figured I have to load like four to five plates on this machine for it to like kind of get going. Um, and this is where the 235s are, by the way, in the back to hold the machine down. So there's like a, uh, there's like a, a mini bar on the back that aims upwards and you just put the weights on it to hold the machine in place. I have 235s on there and I loaded up to three plates right here and it honestly stayed in place very well and it was extremely smooth and my legs got pretty gas after like a lot of reps if I'm actually really squeezing it and controlling it. So this is by far my favorite machine. I have. I, I go so, I, the time that I did it, I trained a failure like six separate times because it just felt so damn good to do it. I think leg extensions are by far my, my favorite leg exercise. Like, it's just easy, you sit down and it just gives you just such an easy burn. It just makes your legs feel like it's just an easy exercise to grow them. So right here, we have the deadlift platform. The only why it looks a little wonky is because we attached something that we realized we didn't need to attach because we're not using bands, is the moral of the story. and we're gonna take them out and then all the tiles will fall flat. Okay, that's why the tiles are a little up. But, and I don't have a deadlift in here anyway, yeah. But anyway, we have a deadlift platform and another thing that we have is a Texas deadlift bar. We have, so we have an Ohio power bar, we have an Alico bar, and we have a Texas deadlift bar, so all three bars that you pretty much need for the rest of your life. So the Texas deadlift bar is a longer bar and it's used to deadlift pretty much more weight because it kind of causes a rainbow effect because the bar weighs 45 pounds, but it's a lot longer and skinnier than the other bars. So uh, yeah, and I love it. It's like the PR bar pretty much. And you have a little deadlift jack right here. I might get a little uh, a better one, but this is the deadlift jack we're rocking right now. Another thing we have right here is a chalk stand. So we have a block of chalk. We have a mushed up block of chalk. And we have, the thing is, is if you, you want to use liquid chalk, 
and you want to be a pussy, then you're going to have to dig your hands in there and, and go use it, I guess. You're going to have to put on the actual chalk <laughs> in yeah. order to get the liquid yeah, chalk. Yeah. You want the liquid chalk? Not in my house. So yeah. We bought it. <laughs> the deadlift uh, platform was, about, I think, about like a thousand or two thousand bucks. The Texas deadlift bar was like four hundred bucks, I think. This chalk stand was, I think, 150 bucks because I included wheels on it, pretty sure. Um, th so the thing is, is this is just one of the most aesthetic things to have in a gym. I feel like it just looks so good right here or anywhere that it is in the gym. It's just like an absolute staple. You know, you can always have your chalk pit. And then another thing is this is actually a belt and collar holder. I'm literally using it for the genuine intended purpose that it's supposed to be used for. Like you're literally supposed to put your belts or collars on it. And I did both. How epic is that? This, this speaker, you can actually connect. I bought this at Best Buy. I have no idea. It's like apparently the newest Sony speaker, I think. I think it's Sony. I think this cost me like 700 bucks, and then the small one behind the dumbbell rack over there was about 300 bucks. So it was about 1,200 maybe with tags or something. So yeah, the, you can actually group pair 10 of these together. So 10 of them can play the exact same thing off your phone at one time. It's kind of nuts, but I only have two of them because it's plenty loud. And we painted the whole wall black. Oh yeah, so another thing is we painted this entire wall black. It wasn't that color. I think it was like a baby blue or something really ugly and it just looked terrible. We didn't really put an effort to like cover up all the holes in oh, the yeah, wall yeah. because I don't know who gives a shit it's a gym anyway. And then obviously we have the mirrors here. These mirrors are nice. They're pretty accurate. They don't make you like mushed or like really tall. They're just kind of they do look exactly the same in those mirrors I feel like for sure. And then we put tarp everywhere. Yeah so another thing we did is as you saw in the picture there was a lot of wood and I didn't want to pay for drywall so I just hung up tarp and honestly it looks really fucking aesthetic actually and I really mm -hmm. like the tarp. I think it looks good because it's kind of contrasting to the one wall over here. And yeah the name of the gym is the gym. And the reason I put it with a J is if you're new to the channel, which I doubt, I mean, I feel like a lot of people know this, but yeah, I'm actually the guy who says we go gym. So like I'm the one who invented that pretty much. Um, and it is old and done and it's kind of like, I mean, we go gym is going to live on, you know, in its own ways, but it was more of a trendy thing. But I just think it's really appropriate for me to call it the gym with a J because I just feel like even though the trend is done and stuff like that, it's not cringe for me to call it the gym because I'm literally the one who invented the saying. So I'm basically in the year 20, when, when the year 2023 strikes, I'll basically be the only one in the whole universe allowed to say gym with a J. So yeah, it's always going to be okay for me to name it the gym because I'm the one who made it, okay? Oh yeah, and another thing is on this wall right here, I'm going to buy a silver Sharpie. I haven't signed anything yet. But every person that comes and visits this gym, you know, it doesn't matter who they are really, I want them to sign either their signature on the wall with a silver sharpie or their at on Instagram. So I'll be the first one to sign it when I get one, but I'm basically just going to put like at Lex.Little right here for my Instagram. And anyone who visits can write their name on their, you know, signature or at or whatever, whatever they want to do. So anyone that comes in can see who's all been here and I just think it'd be a really dope idea. But nobody's done it because nobody's been here yet. But that's basically the gist of it and I would not be in this position without any of you. And I'm just super thankful, man. Like I, I like I remember, bro, when I was younger, bro, and I saw people's like home gym tours, like Juji Mufu or um, like Brian Shaw or you know David or anything like that. Like it just made me like I always kind of wanted one. And it, only until a month ago, it kind of struck me that I was capable of doing it. Like I never really put it together, and I thought about it. That's when I impulsively ordered all this equipment and decided to hide it from you all because I was just super excited. But um, I seriously would not be in this position without any of you. And this is basically a dream come true. It's like these things don't happen every day. So I just, I hope we can all take a moment to like really embrace and enjoy this and like what content is going to come in here. You know, a game comes over or something, or we go for like a crazy deadlift PR. We can, and you can play the music as loud as you want in here because I actually asked my neighbors when I was playing the music full blast. They said they didn't hear it. So yeah, it's, it's a really crazy atmosphere in here. And I'm super excited for everyone to come over and uh, experience what I experience. And I wish you guys could all be in here with me and just enjoy it, but you know, fortunately we can't. But yeah, if there's anything else I add, obviously I'll update you guys in future videos and stuff. But right now I'm just super happy with the way it is. And um, it's just a dream come true, man. And I just, I like, I sincerely can't believe that I'm in the position to make something like this happen. And uh, I'm sorry I made you guys wait for the surprise and stuff like that. I just say I'm a surprise guy, like if Aaron's like, I have a surprise for you, do you want to know? I like never want to know. And I like to surprise people with things because it's just like a something that I really like. I just, I like to surprise, you know? And like, I feel like this is going to be a pretty big thing for a lot of people that are seeing it. And hopefully it draws some inspiration, you know, if you want something you, in, if you want something done, it doesn't matter like how long it's going to take if you really want it done and you have the perseverance and determination, 
you can definitely get it done because this, like, dude, th this picture, man, right here, this picture right here, right there, that was like a week and a half ago. And now we have, you know, this. Yeah, that's so crazy. Right? Absolutely just absurd, bro. I'm speechless. Thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And uh, just insane. Thank you. Yo, yo, yo! This is the horse of having your own gym, bro. You just. Oh. I'll do the work. What? I didn't know you could do that and have a day for three years. Anyway. <laughs> I'm really good at it now. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. That's what like crunk is. Uh, that's a like crunk shit. <laughs> hey, you can crunk tonight and I'm like, what it look like? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Anyway, listen. So, home gym is assembled. Pretty much everything except just the dip thing. And <laughs> I'm gonna roll. So, we're, we're hitting chest today. I already got 225 loaded on the bar because I'm that guy. Aaron is a meet in eight days. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I will, listen, if you wanna watch Aaron's meet, all right, just go on mine or Aaron's Instagram to, you know, be updated because on November 5th, she's competing. So she's gonna be competing on November 5th at 7 a.m. PST, which is, I think, 10 a.m. EST. So November 4th, November 5th, we'll probably figure out uh, the stream link and we'll give it to you guys. You guys can call, pull up to the stream. I want it, bare minimum, I wanna see like 5,000 people in the stream supporting Aaron. Fuck the rest of the competition. No offense to the rest of the competition, but that's the point of it being a competition. So every motherfucking viewer, we gotta take over this bitch. We should, yeah. like, motherfucker, we gotta take over this live stream. Like, seriously, they gotta come in there and raid. We have to raid. Be respectful though, but we have to raid. So yeah, we're gonna be dropping the stream link prior around, or stream link around November 4th, November 5th, and she's competing. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it, man. Fall over my heart I black out the mood I wait for you to come around You got me dancing in the dark I close my eyes But I won't sleep tonight Baby, you should come with me I'll take you to the dark side Me and you, you and me Do bad things in the night Black heart, black keys, black diamonds, black out black, everything black. 
make it kill a life, hit the life for the blackout, blackout, hit the life for the blackout, blackout.